hello hello and good night good morning good evening wherever you are um, at the moment of watching this video my name is Wayne Denny and I'm going to be showing you very briefly how to send uh, funds USDT in your token pocket wallet um, to whoever sends you that address and this is USDT on the Tron network on the Tron chain so let me just show you very briefly how this works obviously after you've downloaded the token pocket wallet following the video previously that you've watched and the most important thing is to secure those 12 words do not just write them down on a piece of paper you're gonna hear me preach this over and over again don't just write them down on a piece of paper get a nice little book that you will not throw away spend a couple of dollars for it okay and put it in a metal box a metal um, cash box and uh, I will do a video showing you exactly what I'm talking about but for this purpose let's just see how you do that so by tapping on the TP right there that's for the token pocket wallet now on the top uh, right left hand sorry top left you see that three dashes I call it a hamburger icon okay so if you click on it because it kind of looks like a hamburger doesn't it now on the side you will see first of all you um, what jumps out at you is that these little red tiles okay each of these represents an account so you can have multiple accounts on the same device maybe you're managing it for you know a relative a friend your mom your sister your daughter whoever you can name the account and each one of these tiles represent that account on the same device. I'm just going to tap on the, the, the icon just above this red triangle. The red triangle is the Tron network. Okay, and that's the one we're going to be talking about and sending from. But I just want to show you at the same time that the icon just above it, it kind of looks like a little square, if you can see, right? Not quite a square, but with a pointed edge up and down. If I tap on it, it takes me to the Binance chain. And again, the same thing in Binance, you can have multiple accounts on the same device. So that's where you would find that. But today, this video is dedicated towards showing you how to send it over the Tron chain. So I find the upside down triangle, which is right there. I tap on it. And then in this case, my particular account is the one that says my cash cow. That's the account I'm gonna be using for this uh, video. So at the edge of it, the way you get into the account, where you see that check mark, you just tap the edge right where that check mark is, and it will take me to that account. If you tap anywhere else, it's gonna do something different. Okay, so tap the upper left hand, right hand corner, sorry, the upper right hand corner where that uh, check mark is. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap it. It brings me right into my account okay now this is a decentralized wallet anybody anywhere in the world can download this wallet follow the instructions and you're able to send and receive so we're going to be sending so first here is that USDT as you see right there but before I send I need an address okay I need an address to send it to so for all intents and purposes this is like having your bank account information I need the account information that I'm going to be sending it to. So that's the first thing I, I want to do. Okay, so that person might have sent it to you on WhatsApp. They might have sent it to you by text message or um, even email, right? Or any other form of communication, whether it's Telegram or whatever other means that you use to send that address. So I'm going to go ahead and look for that address. Now I have an Android phone. So those of you who have Apple might be slightly different, but at the bottom left-hand corner, that three dash that three marks upside down kind of looks like a, um, a wicket for a cricket if you play cricket so I tap on that it's gonna show me some of my most recently opened app so I'm gonna look for that address so someone has just sent me their address in fact someone you know very well so in this case Mario so let me first look for it on whatsapp so if I open the whatsapp it's gonna show me right here and I see right here something came in and I see Mario I tap on that and it shows me the TRC20 receiving address. This is about 32 characters of letters and numbers, as you can see. Now, when you are sending this address, send it exactly the way that Mario did right here. Okay, if you notice, he sent me two different messages. The first one says, hello there, there's my uh, USDT TRC20 address. And he didn't put it in that um, text that he sent. He sent the address by itself, and that's what you should do. Because all I have to do is to tap on it and copy it. Now, I, I like using it from text message, 
So that's one way that it can be sent. Um, I find it personally easier um, if you do it from the text message. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the text message, uh, which is right here. And I'm going to open up my text and I'm going to look for one from Mario because I could tell him here. And there it is. Right. Ask him to send it to me by text message. OK, if that's easier. So again, pay attention to exactly what he did. Hello, there is. This is my USDT TRC20 address. He sent that text and then he sent a separate text with the address. Now, you're not going to remember that address for sure. OK, and you don't have to. You just have to pay attention to the first three letters. In this case, TWB and the last three letters, EVP. So whenever I'm going to paste it into uh, my token pocket wallet, those are the letters that I pay attention to. So it starts with TWB, ends with EVP, and we can double check it. So I simply, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it, okay? So I'm gonna copy, make sure I copy text, which is right there. I'm gonna go down to the bottom again, I'm gonna tap on those three wicket kind of uh, icon, and I'm gonna go back to my token pocket, which is right here. Okay, so I open it up. I then tap on USDT. I can tap on the green symbol itself. Then it shows me, it's gonna populate of course. And as you can see, um, it says at the bottom, transfer and receive. Since I'm sending the money to someone else, then that's a transfer. I tap on transfer. And there's a couple of ways you can transfer if you are with the individual personally let's say you're sitting across from them they can show their qr code and i'm just going to open up the qr code just to show you what that looks like there is no qr code to scan but i'm just going to show you the process so on the right hand if i tap on the qr code it's going to open up the computer like this right for a qr code so we don't have a qr code available so let me just back it up and then go to the actual transfer here so qr code if it's in person if it's not in person you just have the trc20 address you click on transfer again and you're going to see that it says here receive enter or paste the wallet address i'm going to go ahead and do that tap on it i'm going to paste it and again what i'm looking for is the first three letters in this case twb and it ends with evp all of those are there that's correct i'm good to go OK, so I don't have to confirm it and look back at it again. But if you're doing this for the first time, you may want to just look back at it, maybe write the first three letters down, the last three letters on a piece of paper just to make sure that you got everything. OK, now, since this is USDT value, all I need to do for the amount is um, it says 101, but I'm going to send only 100. So I tap on the amount. I type 100. And of course, uh, as I said, it's in USDT, so I don't have to do anything else. And then I click on the word confirm. Now, once I click on the word confirm, it's going to come up with a reminder to make sure that you are conducting transfer operation, etc. OK, I'm good to go. I'm going to say continue. Right. And then it's going to ask me to confirm the payment. So it shows that the payer, i.e. me, at the top. OK, and it shows the receiver's address at the bottom. So once I go ahead and click confirm, it's going to ask me to enter my password. OK, so when you enter the password, right, you can type that in there, enter the password. And then just to make things easier, um, after you've done that, right where it says fingerprint payment, in this case, I'm using fingerprint payment. But in your case, uh, you may just check that box um, in case, you know, you have to verify it a couple of times. It just makes it a lot easier when you check uh, that little box at the bottom now you don't have to do this of course if you're doing this for the first time you may just want to type the password in and then click confirm there is also what i call an eyelash icon if you look where it says please enter your wallet password there's a little eyelash at the end after you enter the password you may want to just click on that eyelash icon just to make sure that you entered the correct uh, information. You might have mistyped it or whatever that will tell you that, yes, the password is correct by looking at it first before you confirm. So of course, I'm not going to type my password in here. Um, I am going to continue that afterwards. I'm going to continue the, the after um, I enter my password.
Okay guys, so now that I've, I've entered my password and I've actually verified it with that eyelash icon, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm it. So I'm gonna click on the word uh, confirm. I'm gonna bypass the fingerprint for now. Let's just do the confirm as you would do it normally. And then as you should see here, you see it says submission successful. Okay, so now that we've done that, if I go back to my wallet, which is the, the top left hand arrow, I can click on that to go back into my wallet and I'm going to refresh it so you could see that yes, indeed, that $100 was sent. Okay, so it was sent to that address and it only takes about, um, I would say, not even 30 seconds normally uh, for it to show up in that person's account. Okay, if it's a very busy day and the network is busy, it might take a bit longer, but generally speaking, it's under a minute. Now, um, how do I prove that I sent those funds? That would be your next question, okay? So here's how what we do. We're gonna tap on that USDT sign again. It's gonna open up, and it's you see that last transaction, it says minus 100 USDT. That's the last transaction that I did. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that circular green right here, and it shows me that this transaction is successful. Okay, so that transaction is successful. So the only thing that I need to do right now is just uh, take a screenshot. So I can go ahead and take a screenshot, which I'm about to do right now. Okay, and um, I'm gonna do that again because it showed up where that uh, you know was in the way of that address and I don't like it to be that way. I want it to be clear. So let me try it again. There you go, that's much cleaner right and all I need to do is to tap on here and then this comes up as you guys know great I then go ahead and save it okay so I save it to my phone because 90% of the times you'll be using your phone in order to do this transaction so the only thing I have to do next is to just send that picture to that person whether it's by whatsapp email whatever method I choose I can send that proof of payment and this is called proof of payment because you could see the address it was sent from and you can see the address that it went to of course there's no name of the person right you don't need that all you need is the proof of verif the payment on the blockchain which is exactly what you're looking at so once you send that it's proof that the payment has been done okay so now let's go ahead and send this proof of payment um, and uh, just to prove that we made the payment. So here we are guys. So I chose to send this uh, proof of payment by text message. So all I did was, uh, everybody knows how to send a picture by text message. Um, you simply open up the text of course and as you could see right here at the bottom you click on the picture icon and you select the last picture which was taken. Of course that would automatically come up. You select it and you simply send it okay so in this case I'm just gonna send uh, just a quick message um, to say what that was for because um, you know that person will just receive uh, the actual proof of payment but they may not know exactly what you're paying for right so I'm just gonna shoot them a quick text and says hi Mario this uh, proof of payment is for and of course I may not be as quick as you guys in typing right Beckley and that's the username that I sent that hundred dollar and this that's a perpetual garden so I'm gonna go ahead and just send him that next text uh, just like that so as you can see, it will show him that yes, it was paid for. And I also sent him the username um, that you know um, I paid for. Another way to do it, guys, if it's somebody who you know is not direct person that you know, it may not be um, their particular garden, it could have been somebody else's garden that they're assisting, it is good to take a screenshot of the garden, again on your phone, as a picture and uh, send it along with the proof of payment. So not only did you send the proof of payment, you also sent a little text saying exactly what you're paying for 
and you also sent a screenshot of the garden, right? And if it's your garden, obviously, um, you would see it being highlighted and that would tell the person uh, that, uh, that definitely, um, you know, that's what's paying for. As you can see, uh, Mario responded. Okay, good. So he got it. That's why I like text messages. They work very well. People generally read their text message in less than 15 minutes. Of course, if you, you can also give them a phone call just saying, hey, I sent the funds. I also sent you proof of payment. Um, if they're overseas and you contacted them by WhatsApp, you maybe want to send them a voice message as well. Say, yes, I sent it. Check your email. Check this or whatever. That way they get the information and they can respond immediately. So I hope this video was very helpful to you. Definitely follow those um, points. They're very important. It will save you a lot of headache if you do it uh, in that particular fashion. So again, uh, congratulations on being a part of our team. This is Wayne Danny for Abundance TV, and I wish you all the success in the world and have an absolutely abundant life. Take care and have a great day.